how you felt out there with the knee and everything and all that? Felt good. <laughs> yeah, it felt all right, I guess. Good enough to where I could play. Uh, it was a little shaky. I had a different brace on in the first half, and I switched it to a, a lighter brace so I could move a little bit. I had trouble moving around, but as a whole, I think I did all right. You got hurt there at the end a little bit of a tweak there, I guess. How, how, how are you feeling right now? What happened there at the end? Yeah, it was just a little, a little simple tweak. It wasn't anything like what I did um, at Memphis. But if they wouldn't need me to go back in, I easily could have gone back in. I just, I probably would have had to come out like a player or two and just let the pain wear off a little bit, and that would have been all right. Kind of limited in practice during the week, obviously, as you were working your way back. Was there any doubt that you were going to go today? Was it a game time decision? Uh, There's a little bit of doubt, but um, <clears throat> Thursday it was is where when I really knew I could still play. I could go ahead and play. Uh, it felt a lot better. Um, the trainers did a really good job of getting me in there for treatment and everything. So I'm really appreciative of what they do. They really helped me to get back in there. How's the chemistry building between you and JJ now? I mean, JJ's, he's a heck of a player. He's a smart player. Um, I don't know if it's if it's just me and him. It's because um, he gets the ball all over the field, really. Uh, he's He does a good job of reading the defenses and getting the ball where it's supposed to be. And if we're in a bad play, um, Coach Jones gave him the green light to get us into a better one and everything. So, I mean, he does a great job out there. Um, well, we, we did a good job game planning, really. We got into empty, and that spread them out a little bit and helped us get some more one-on-one -on -one opportunities. And uh, J.J. did a real good job of reading it, and I was just able to get open. How do you feel about where, as a team, you guys are right now? You moved along back into the midpoint of the season, 5-1. Things going as you, uh, as you had hoped or anticipated? Well, I anticipated 6-0. and But uh, first game, we did not play well at all. In the second game, we didn't even play very good either but um now we're I think we're finally starting to connect and get it both on the offense and the defensive side the defense played a great game um so I'm really happy of where we are right now and I feel like we've got a lot of momentum going into the uh second half of the season <clears throat> you come into this thinking that UCF was going to stack the front to try to control that line therefore leaving more room over the middle and deeper for you I thought they were going to do the exact same thing as did us the past two years, and they really did. They, because defensive coaches really don't change much, um, but they just they did the same thing. We knew we were going to have to complete balls, and we knew we were going to have to pass it on them to to win. And uh, the line did a great job of holding up, and JJ did a good job of getting the ball to everybody. You guys have been throwing deep a little more lately, but today you hit the seventy. JJ hit the seventy mm -hmm. something yarder. How much does that help the offense in terms of making the defense back up a little bit and give you more room under the middle? Well, that helps a lot. Uh, when our outsides can spread out the defense, that gives me and DJ a lot of opportunities. So if they can beat the defense, that, that helps out our offense big time. And then that'll, that'll give Zach some more room too, actually. Um, so they did, we actually should have had another one. Keenan had a beat and we just missed it. But I mean, they're doing a great job. Of, our outside receivers are doing a great job of beating the defense.